Hey guys, in this video we mentioned that we were going to show a brush out starting with the back legs, the torso, the front legs, and the head. Unfortunately, some of the footage got corrupt where we're unable to show you the torso and the front leg portion of the brush out, but we still thought there was some useful information that you could use. Uh, with that being said, guys, our apologies and enjoy the video. Hey guys, thanks again for checking out yet another one of our videos uh, with this little angel. She's just too cute to um, not film. So uh, we decided to do a quick little brush out video on this sweetheart. So uh, with that being said, uh, let's begin, okay? The two tools we'll be using in this video is once again, we're gonna be using our universal slicker brush. And um, we'll also be using our Greyhound comb or our double-sided comb. So as always, as we've mentioned in past videos, when we're doing a brush out, uh, what I like to do is I like to do it in the same pattern every time. This way we're not missing spots, we're not jumping around, and we make sure that the, we're getting the dog used to it, and we also become more practiced at it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to brush out these two back legs, we're gonna brush up the torso, we're gonna brush down the front legs, and we're gonna save the head for last. So we're just starting with this back leg. A lot of times what you'll get is in this inner leg here, you know, cause they pee, she's a female, so she might drip down in here. So you wanna get that, that urine and uh, the little knots that it causes out. Okay, so there we go. Eight. Okay, baby. Puppies are always a little jumpy. This is only her third grooming. So what we're gonna do is we're just kinda gonna go through that with our comb. Make sure that the comb is going through. See, like right here, you got a little, little bit of knots going, but I don't like to yank too hard. So if you have too much knotting, what you want to do is go right back to the brush, work that out a little bit more. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Okay. There we go. Good girl. Now we go through. Just like that. Your comb should be flowing through the coat just like that. Little snare right there. There you go. We're just gonna work up the leg. Get the inside. I'll tell you what you're doing too is like use the corners of the brush. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you wanna use the corners of the brush for as opposed to the whole brush. You want to be careful, especially with the females, because her vulva is right here. Uh, you don't, you don't, you don't want to scrape that in any way. Uh, a lot of times what I like to do in this area is just kind of take the comb and just pull away and away from everything like that, being very careful not to snag her. So I'm just going to loosen up this noose on her so I get her neck area, and we're going to do her head last. Uh, the reason why I like to do the head last is because a lot of times, in most cases, the dogs hate their faces being brushed, so uh, we just save it for last so we're not upsetting them right off the bat or anything. Uh, okay, baby. Just pulling these ears forward, getting behind the ear, very, very important, you know. And just kind of, you know, see what I'm doing here? Uh, it's, it's what I'm positioning her. I'm, look at my hands. I'm kind of grabbing some fur and her muzzle and kind of just turning her, you know, to keep her still. Because here's the thing, if she jolts or I don't want to come across and then if she turns her face, catch her eye. So really, I'm just I'm keeping her safe. I know it doesn't look good, guys, but believe it or not, man, I'm not hurting her at all. I'm just really keeping her safe. I don't want to catch her eye, you know. And just pulling that ear forward, get behind the ear. A lot of times dogs like this, they got the knots behind the ears. Here, I'm just do this one too. So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of cupping this ear. I'm folding my thumb in over here and I'm kind of holding the ear forward and I'm using my wrist to keep her head that way. Get in there, do it, get it done, you know, and then let go, you see? You see? Uh, it's just one of the one of the moves that we do. Okay. Oh, baby, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. 
<laughs> again, you know, give give them some really good positive reinforcement and everything, and uh, you know, try to make it fun for them. I guess it's not fun, but try to. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to brush the top of her head. I'm doing this. I'm holding her chin. Okay, okay, baby. Very quick, very quick. Here we go. I'm holding her neck area. Okay, supporting her. Okay, everything's brief. That's that. That's the thing here. So it's very brief. And we're going to use the corner of the brush. We're just going to kind of come down her face. It's okay, sweetie. Come here. I know. I know. I know. Stay. Stay, mama. Stay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stay. Stay. See, she's using her hands. She just wants me to stop. So I'll give her a little break. Give her a little hug. You know. Um, but. In doing that, you kind of don't want to do that for long. You kind of want to just kind of reset them and say, okay, come on, good girl, good girl, good girl. Okay, mama, good girl. And just do it, you know, continue. You know, there you go, baby. That's a good girl. We're going to do under her chin. And she'll probably fight me on a little bit more. But that's okay. You know, see, there she, you know, she just, she wants me to stop. Um, but again, we're going to do the same thing. Good girl. You're doing so good. Okay, just gonna do your left side. Come here, baby. Come on, back down, back down. Good girl. I'm just gripping here, and real quick, uh, you know, timing is everything. You wanna hold and brush. They, they don't like the face, you know, a lot of times. Oh, okay, baby, that's okay, sit, sit. Good girl, oh, good girl. Okay, okay, stay, stay, good girl. Okay, all done, all done, good girl, good girl. All right, and then we're just gonna kinda go through with our comb. Make sure that we're getting all those knots out. So the comb is going to dictate any little knots. So, yeah, it's a challenge. See, see, like right here, look, look, guys, right behind the ear, and she's she's hating that area. But we we do we do have to get it out. So here, I'm just going to hold her muzzle, and we got it. It's all out. There you go. Good girl, mama. That's all. Keep up with your brush outs. Again, try to do this on a dog like this. I say do it every day. Uh, this way you could um, definitely stay on top of it, especially behind the ears. Uh, you don't want to be, if that turns into a mat, now you got to get the clippers back there. She's afraid of the comb. Now you got to buzz the clippers back there and get that mat out. Uh, but guys, do this uh, at least at least three times a week on a, on a puppy like this. Get them used to it. Uh, get, get them into the grooming shops. And believe me, we're going to keep filming her as time goes on, and you're going to see how good she gets. She's going to just, I can tell already, this is the kind of dog that will just take to it very, very well. And uh, she'll eventually just stand there like a statue. So guys once again please like share subscribe uh, check us out on Facebook Instagram Twitter please check out our radio show it's called groomer humor we're gonna leave that link down below and as always on behalf of me Anthony and baby here thanks for checking us out